Today, I'm going to be taking you on a tour of the Cow Hollow and Marina neighborhoods. Figuring out the different neighborhood nuances here in San Francisco can be quite challenging because every neighborhood is so different. Join me on today's episode of Where Should I Live in San Francisco as I explain some of these differences to you. My name is Layla Ahmedsbahic with the Christian team. I happen to live in Cow Hollow and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of Cow Hollow and the Marina and telling you why these are my two favorite neighborhoods in San Francisco. Cow Hollow is bordered by the Presidio, Pack Heights, Russian Hill, and the Marina. In the mid-1800s, settlers came to this area, then known as Spring Valley, and began farming around a large lagoon. It wasn't long before the predominant activity became dairy farming, hence the name Cow Hollow. One thing that's great about Cow Hollow is that it's relatively flat compared to many other hillier parts of the city, which makes walking easy and fun. You can walk to the Walt Disney Museum in the Presidio, you can check out the different shops and restaurants in the marina, or you can explore nearby parks such as the Palace of Fine Arts. Cow Hollow has a population of about 5,485 people and about 17% of that population is families with children. The marina has a population of about 18,000 people and about 11% of that population are families with children. You can find several schools here in Cow Hollow, both public and private, some of the best including Sherman Elementary and St. Vincent du Paul. Many residents also attend schools in the neighboring area of Pacific Heights where you can find several other prestigious schools as well. The top three forms of transportation that residents of Cow Hollow and the Marina use to get to other parts of the city include car, public transportation, and walking. Now let's get to the good stuff and talk about some of the homes. So the architecture here is a mixture of Victorian and Edwardian homes. The eastern side consists more of apartment buildings and condominiums with some single family homes spread throughout, whereas the western side is made up of more mansions and single family homes. On average, homes in Cow Hollow tend to be a little bit smaller than those in Pack Heights, making it just a little more affordable. And some of the most expensive homes in the area you can find on Marina Boulevard, where you can get sprawling views of the Bay and Golden Gate Bridge. The Marina and Cow Hollow are on par with Pack Heights on a price per square footage basis. Single family homes can be purchased on an average of just under $1,600 a square foot. But the median sales price is lower because the average sized home in the area is around 3,300 square feet. Luxury homes are most commonly priced between five to $8 million. But as the chart shows below, occasionally a smaller home can be scored below $5 million and there are also many larger homes with views selling above the $8 million price point, making Cow Hollow and the Marina one of the most expensive areas in San Francisco to live. Union Street is the most popular and busiest street in Cow Hollow, where you can find great shopping boutiques and restaurants. To name a few, Lululemon and Birdies can all be found here. And just a few blocks down, you'll find Chestnut Street, the most popular in the marina, filled with some of the most delicious restaurants, shops, and cutest bars. There are many outdoor activities to do in both neighborhoods, which is what locals love about them. You can find some of the best outdoor spaces and parks in Cow Hollow, or hang out in the marina, which offers its long stretch of a boulevard along the water and leads to a beach where you can find some of the most incredible views of the Golden Gate Bridge. Another one of my favorite parts about living in Cow Hollow is my proximity to the marina. I can enjoy my morning coffee as I walk along Marina Boulevard and enjoy epic views of the Golden Gate Bridge. On weekends, I often like to come to Fort Mason with my friends or other animal lovers who bring their dogs and have them run around on the greens or on the beach. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Where Should I Live in San Francisco? If you'd like to learn more about Cow Hollow, the Marina, or any other neighborhood in San Francisco, feel free to reach out to us at ruth at ruthchristian.com and we will be glad to assist you.